Today I'm going to show you how you can easily transfer any of your cryptos sitting on any of the crypto exchanges to your hardware wallet. In this specific case, I'm using the Nano Ledger S Plus. But actually the process is pretty much similar for any Ledger wallet you may have. But before we do that, let me give you a quick unboxing of the Ledger wallet itself and show you how easy it is to set it up and get started with it. Right, so here it is. This is how the box, how it comes. Actually, I went with this one because it's one of the more affordable ones. Plus it doesn't have a battery and Bluetooth, which actually I don't need. And for me, it just gave me that extra bit of security by not having Bluetooth. So that's the box when you open it. Uh, you're going to be greeted with a nice little quote that is always important and reminds ourselves only trust yourself because we've seen with FTX and all the recent drama um, yourself probably are the most trustworthy. Then obviously you're going to have your ledger key itself over here and then you have the secret recovery sheets. This is obviously the most important amazing part of having a hardware wallet because you can take full custody of your own keys and as we always say not your keys not your crypto. So in this case you will have your own keys. Actually, you're gonna have three recovery sheets in case you lose one or you wanna place them in different places or in case you get a new stick and want a new recovery phrase. So basically how it works, uh, you're gonna get 24 words from that wallet and you're gonna have to write them down and those are unique to you and unique to every stick. And that basically gives you full access to your crypto. So all your crypto, all your money that you've ever bought in any kind of crypto, currency or crypto wallet basically is secured by these 24 words. So basically all of your holdings, whatever you bought in any kind of cryptocurrency, in any kind of exchange, whenever you connect them to your hardware wallet, they're basically going to be secured by those 24 words. You can actually even lose the stick. It doesn't really matter. It's not actually physically sitting on the ledger. It's still going to be part of the blockchain. So that's why even if you lose the ledger, it's not the end of the world. But if you lose those 24 seed phrases, that's actually the end of the world or more precisely the end of your crypto because you won't be able to recover. With those words, there are websites where you can go to, you enter those words and you can get your crypto holdings back. So this is literally the most important. And uh, yeah, some people actually decide not to just write them on paper because, you know, you want to keep it in a safe place. But for example, if the house burns, God forbid, you know, you might be losing the piece of paper and everything is gone. And you definitely don't want to take a picture of it or save it in a password manager because this really shouldn't go online. That's the whole point of having a stick to keep it offline so please keep it offline in a safe place where nobody has access to right other than that you have uh, obviously some documentation that's the website you want to go to ledger.com slash start so this is where you download the ledger live client where you connect your hardware wallet to your computer and you know a couple of uh, documentations how to get started but actually uh, really nothing too interesting it's pretty self-explanatory and lastly obviously as it doesn't have a battery you're going to be having your uh, connections over here you'll be getting a usb cable plus a keychain holder to attach to your ledger but obviously i wouldn't suggest carrying it with you all the time you want to keep it somewhere safe right so what you want to do then is obviously open your ledger and connect it to the usb you can connect to mac to windows really doesn't matter um so yeah all right here we are and basically all you're gonna have is uh, two buttons so it's left and right and if you press both basically it's confirmed all right guys i'm really sorry the screen is flickering i don't know somehow my camera is not really liking that screen but uh, i think you get the drift so basically it says press right to continue all right and then it says download ledger live at ledger.com slash start. All right, so we're going to do this right now. We're on the website here, download. Uh, obviously, you want to select Mac in my case, but whatever device you have works for you. All right, so now that we have downloaded, you can basically go here on get started. Then you select which one you have. In my case, Ledger Nano S Plus, but you select the one you have. Just click select. And then obviously it asks you as the first time using your Nano S Plus, or do you already have a recovery phrase, which you've written down so you can restore from here. But we say set it up as a new Nano S Plus. All right access your crypto your crypto is stored on the blockchain you need a private key to access and manage it yes understood own your private key that's great that's what we're going to do stay offline that's what we're looking for click next validate transactions yes and let's set up your nano let's do this all right best way to get started plan 30 minutes to take your time grab a pen to write it and stay alone and choose a safe and quiet environment you don't want to do this in an internet cafe there's always cameras around people looking you looking over your shoulder so you definitely want to be alone while doing this all right i'm ready so then it says turn on your nano and then obviously it describes you the steps what you have to do so basically on the nano it says press right i'll do that and then it says use the buttons navigate the menus and list okay clear press right press both buttons to select so let's do that Okay, go right, hold both buttons anytime to access settings and more, understood. Start Ledger Live for help during the setup. Okay, go right, and then you can choose set up a new device or restore from recovery phrase. So in case you lost one, etc., you can restore it with those 24 words. Otherwise, 
uh, we obviously want to set up as a new device. So both buttons at the same time, boom. Now you want to start choosing a pin code, four to eight digits. So let me start and uh, pop that in here. Okay, so basically you go up and down to select the numbers you want. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward actually. Obviously I don't want to show you what is my pin number, so I will just quickly put it in here. All right, so once that's done, it's going to ask you to write down your recovery phrase, all right? Your device is going to generate 24 words. They are your recovery phrase. So that's really what you want to write down and be very mindful of. It's only your backup to restore accounts if needed, okay? Write it down on your recovery sheet in the correct order. That's also important, not just any order, but correct order. Press both buttons to continue, okay? And now basically it shows you here the first word, write word number one, virus. So basically I will take my recovery sheet, I'll open any one of them, and then you're gonna start writing down the first one. In this case, I will write capital letters, but it doesn't matter, but basically you wanna make sure that you have the right words there. And from here, basically you go to the next. All right, I'm gonna finish writing down the rest because obviously I don't wanna share my recovery phrase with you because then you could drain my wallet. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this and be right back in a second. All right, so now it asks me to confirm your recovery phrase. All right, let's double click. So now basically it gives you different options for the first word. So different options that you can choose from just to make sure that you really know and written down correctly. So you have to choose the one that's correct. In my case, it was virus, so double click and boom so i have it here and i can confirm that is correct so let me finish this now all right so recovery is set keep it in a safe and secure place well noted go right if lost or stolen all your assets will be lost immediately okay and then never share it with anyone ledger will not ask you for it so never share it in any case nobody will ever have the right to ask you for it press both buttons to continue okay now we'll just set it up it's processing it will take a second and your device is ready okay let's go right and then you have all the different options. Go to the dashboard, uh, your device is ready. Okay, double click to go home. And then from here, you have control center, you have install apps, but basically the rest we can do from the app. All right, so let's go back into the app, click next step. Um, and then we have the pin code. I understand I must choose my pin code myself and keep it private. Set up pin code, confirm pin code. Okay, I've confirmed it, next step. Secure your PIN code, always choose a PIN code yourself, always enter PIN code out of sight. You can change your PIN code if needed. Three wrong PIN codes will reset the device. And obviously, you know, just good practices of what PIN codes to use here. Then we go to next. Okay, yes, we understand. We have to look after the recovery phrase and then take your recovery sheet. Okay, we've done this already. Confirm your recovery phrase. Yes, done. Next step. And then here just explains you what happens if you lose it, etc. So obviously if you lose it, you can easily reorder a new device and set it up with your recovery phrase on the new device. So get started, continue, hide your recovery phrase. Yes, understood, we've done that. And just some good reminders of where to keep it, etc. So really good uh, insights if it's the first time for you. All right, let's take a quiz to pass. As a Ledger user, my crypto is stored on my Nano, on the blockchain, on the blockchain, never on the Nano. It actually still stays on the blockchain. All right, next question. If my recovery phrase is no longer secure on private, so obviously if somebody has your recovery phrase, you definitely need a new one. So my crypto is no longer safe. So you definitely want to have a new one. So next question. When I connect my Nano to the Ledger app, my private key is still offline briefly connected to the internet. No, it's still gonna be offline because you're never exposing your private keys online. That's the whole point of it. So it's still offline. All right, finish quiz, already a pro. Well, that's nice. Next step, a genuine check will verify if your nano is genuine because that's obviously important because there have been cases of fake nanos being shipped out. They give you the wrong recovery phrase, you use that and then you send your cryptos there and they can basically drain it because they had the fake crypto. So if you order any nano, only do so through the Ledger website and you can use the link in my description below. That's the official site where I ordered myself and that's the official Ledger website. And if you do that, I obviously appreciate it and get a little kickback from that as well. Okay, so it will now verify. So then you just wanna double click to allow Ledger to manage. Uh, to verify all right it shows all good it's genuine okay so we can continue from here then you just want to accept the terms continue and then obviously you want to start sending cryptos to your wallet and that you do by clicking add an account so here you can choose which crypto asset you want to send so in my case i want to start uh, sending some polygon matic but you can choose from a whole list of different cryptocurrencies out here i mean there's really loads so i'm sure uh, yours is going to be here and then i'm going to click matic polygon yes continue it will check app dependencies if there's already something installed or not and it will take a second just to load it will install obviously a wallet for polygon in this case so we'll take a second just to install and here with this ledger i can hold well over 100 different cryptocurrencies because some of them only have a limit of up to 10 so it's important that you choose the right one then it says open a polygon app on your device so then basically i'm just going to confirm it 
and application is ready. So if I go back now and here basically I can give it a name if I wanted to. Actually, I'm just going to delete the one and I'm just going to call it the Polygon account because I don't really have too many different. But in case you have different exchanges where you're sending it from, etc., you can just call it whatever you would like to. But let's call it for the sake of simplicity, Polygon. And then I click add account and it shows account added successfully. So that's great. I could from here add more accounts, but for the time being, that's all I want and click done. A brief rundown on the app itself. You have all your portfolio overview. So the more different cryptocurrencies you have, it will easily show you how your portfolio is doing, which is great. And then you have obviously some market information as well. And then you have all your accounts. So here you would have all the different cryptocurrencies listed and that's really good. So the more you have, it gives you a brief overview of where you stand, how much you have in each. And then obviously you can discover new, you can send from here as well. But obviously in this case, I want to receive some Polygon from my Nexo wallet. So in this example, I'm going to be transferring some of my Nexo Nexo holdings into my ledger wallet, right? So I'm going to click on receive and then I want to have obviously Polygon. It shows which you want to receive. Some cryptocurrencies have specific variations. So you really want to make sure you're sending the right one. But in this case, it's clear Matic or ERC20. I click on continue. It loads a second, obviously finds the nano device. And then you want to verify that the address shown here is actually matching up with the one shown on your Nano. So that's very important that you have the same address. Otherwise, you're sending your cryptos to a different address. Usually they are the same, but you really want to make sure that they are correct. And then you send it to that specific wallet. So in this case, it was correct. I confirmed and then I click done. And that's pretty much it. Now you have your own wallet address basically for your respective cryptocurrency, in my case Polygon. And that address you can just, as you would have done in the past, transferring from one exchange to the other, you would just go to the exchange, paste it in there and then send your cryptocurrency to that wallet. But in case of going to another exchange, it will go to your hardware wallet. Well, not actually, as we learned on the device, it will stay on the blockchain, but you have self custody of that by obviously using your private keys to access them. Right. So in this example, I want to transfer some of my Nexo holdings, in this case, Polygon to my ledger wallet. So I select my different cryptocurrencies, in this case, Polygon. I click on manage wallets. So from here, you click on transfer, you click on withdraw, and then basically you can select the network you want to withdraw. Um, Polygon is fee free and then ERC20. There is a fee, but obviously we want to have a fee free transfer, which is amazing. That's why I like Polygon because Ethereum there's usually high gas fees. So we're going to click on fee free. And that was also shown to us before that we can use both of them. So we click on that. Either you already have the address or it's going to be a new address. Most likely if you set it up for the first time, it's a new address. And then you want to copy paste the address you copied before that was shown to you on the ledger. So when you do the transfer for the first time, I always recommend use a small amount to see if it goes through. And then later on, you can always send a bigger amount. So let's start with a very small amount, let's say 20 Matic, which is around 22 euros. There's no fee. That's amazing. So you will basically get exactly 20 Matic to your wallet. But that's of course because I'm a Platinum member. So if you are not, there might be a little fee attached to it. But that's the benefit of having more Nexo tokens. So you have fee free withdrawals. And then I click withdraw. You confirm with the double authentication. And in this case, they asked me to confirm by email as well. And boom, here you go. Withdrawal request confirmed successfully. Withdrawal has been sent for processing. You can track it in the progress of transaction page. All right. So as you can see right now, it's actually processing and depending on the cryptocurrency you choose, some of them take quite long, like Bitcoin can be up to a couple of hours even to process and arrive into your wallet. But in this case, Polygon is actually quite quick, up to seven minutes the most, and then you will have it in your ledger wallet. And then you come back into your exchange, in this case, Nexo, instead of saying process, it will show up as approved. Boom. Wow. Here it is already. Actually, it took less than two minutes. And as you can see, I have now 20 medics in my own self custody ledger wallet. As you can see here, the dollar amount. And if I go back into my portfolio, Portfolio, you should also see immediately as seen as a deposit. So you can see here the increase in price, the transactions, allocations, you know, last operations. So because obviously from here you can also send, etc. So if you want me to in future videos, I can do a whole deep dive on the Ledger Live app as well, the phone app, because they actually have also a phone app you can use on your Android and iPhone to track your cryptocurrency, etc. So it's really a super powerful tool and app that you should be using. So there you have it, guys. I mean, when I started off, for me it was also such a daunting task. It looked really overwhelming and scary to get it all set up and have self custody of your keys, etc. But now having done it and you can see it's really straightforward, really not difficult. And actually you feel so much safer afterwards because now I know that whatever happens to any of the exchanges where I had money previously, it doesn't really matter to me because I have self custody of my own cryptocurrency. Now, this is very important though. You really want to make sure your phrase key is tucked away safe somewhere where nobody has access to and nobody ever sees these words because otherwise they can just order a ledger themselves or actually don't even need a ledger. They can just go online. There's some recovery websites, put in your words and immediately drain your wallet 
to their own wallet. So really make sure you look after this extremely carefully. If you don't have a Ledger wallet yet, then please use my link in the description below and you can buy the verified Ledger wallet and I get a little benefit out of it in the process with no additional cost to you. So really appreciate it and it helps out the channel a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions whatsoever about the process, setting it up, transferring any of your crypto, pop them down in the comments below. I get back to every single one of you. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me. As always, stay healthy, get wealthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.